Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to do a full page or scrolling screenshot in iOS. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to show you how to do a scrolling screenshot or a full screen screenshot. So rather than just actually capturing what is physically visible on your screen, say for instance, you're in a Safari page or something like that, then you can actually save the entire page and you can save that to a PDF form, save it in either OneDrive or to your phone or to your cloud storage, and then you can review it at a later date. Or you can use it as part of a dissertation or some kind of project you're working on and you can copy and paste all the bits into it as you would normally with a PDF. So let's take a look at the phone and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so first of all, on the iOS device, if we go to somewhere like uh, Safari, and here is a page which I've been looking at. So this is Bleeping Computer, and this is a section on some virus threats which have been going on at the moment, which I want to do some research on and to create a video on later. So what I need to do is do a screenshot. So to do a screenshot on newer devices with Face ID, press the wake button on the side and your volume up button and this will give you the screenshot. So tap on the screenshot, and now we've got options at the top here. So we've got screen, and we've also got now full page. So we click on full page, and now as you can see, it's captured the whole page, so we can just scroll down through and look at all the information there. Now if you want to, you don't have to have all of it, you can actually crop it. So click on the crop button, and then say, for instance, you can drag it and just save a selection of the site, and that will give you then a preview of what you've got. So we cancel that because we want to have the whole page. So now what we can do is either print it out or save it. So click on this button at the top and you can either send it to a contact, all those kinds of things. You can copy, print, save, and we're going to save it to files. And it saves as a PDF document. And let's stick it on my OneDrive. And we'll put it in files, hit save. And there we go, we're done. Now obviously what you can do as well, if you want to, you can make any notes or annotations on this. So choose with one of the pens and you can highlight things, make notes, scribble things, do whatever you want to do. But essentially that is pretty much it. So that's a nice new feature which is built into iOS 13, also works on iPadOS. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And if you're not happy with what you've done, all you do is press the delete button and that's it. And then you can have another go, press the button, do the screenshot, back in, click on full page, and away you go. Scribble to your heart's content. So there we go. There's a pretty easy and simple, straightforward way of capturing the entire content of a web page or whatever it is you're looking at on your iOS device. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Oh, and if you've got any other suggestions, tips, or comments on how to use your iOS devices, let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.